Hey everybody, it's Kevin here from Bruno & Co. Auctioneers, located at 63 4th Avenue in Cranston, Rhode Island. And we had our June 8th fine online and live auction of interesting estate items. And these are some highlights from the sale. And lot number one was a, uh, a fairly large galley uh, botanical mocketry uh, glass vitrine cabinet. Absolutely beautiful. You don't see these too often. Signed galley right down on the base. It was estimated at two to four thousand dollars and sold right within the estimate with a hammer price of thirty two hundred. Nice strong price for a nice little piece of furniture that at one time probably would have bought well over ten thousand dollars. And you can see the difference in the markets as time goes on. Lot number 71 was a 1977 fairly rare Rolex Submariner with a tritidium uh, dial uh, watch on it. I think I said that right. It's the uh, kind of glow-in-the-dark face there that they replaced later because of, uh, you know, like uranium and different issues like that with inside the metal. So it was estimated at six to 9000 It was a nice watch. No box, no papers, just the watch itself. Very nice condition with a six to nine thousand dollar estimate. Went out the door at the high hammer of uh, nine thousand dollars, the high end of the estimate. So that was very nice to see. It was a very nice watch. You know, we always do well with watches. Lot number eighty three was one lot of several we had of some really rare Stephen King signed first edition books, and this was the Doc Tower series. There were several books in the lot right there, and it was a. Uh, Estimated at two to four thousand. It's called the Doc Tower series, so we kept them all together in one series, and that too brought the high end of the estimate at four thousand dollars plus. So a nice strong uh, result for the books, and uh, along with the others, they also did very well. So a lot of Stephen King fans out there for stuff. And lot number eighty nine, probably one of my favorites in the sale. It was a beautiful lamp. It was a silvered hammered copper lamp with all these wonderful shell inlays and these unbelievable opalescent glass molded sort of rockery shell looking embellishments that were embedded right in it. We attribute it to uh, Elizabeth Eaton Burton um, because she did a lot of lamps like that. And there was also other manufacturers and other people who did similar lamps, but we felt this best represented kind of what she did. It was an attribution with a six to $1,200 estimate and that went out the door with a $4,000 hammer. So very beautiful lamp got the attention it deserved, and fetched a really good price for a, for a really nice, unsigned, attributed uh, Elizabeth Eaton Burton lamp. So that was very good. And last but not least for highlights was lot 219. This is truly rare. It was a 1938 uh, Gibson L7 hollow body guitar. Absolutely beautiful. Big, big guitar. Um, did have a little problem in the neck area that's going to need some attention by a luthier. But overall, there was no cracks in the body, no cracks in the spruce face. It was all in good shape other than the neck, which needed repair, which, of course, is a substantial repair to do on a guitar. So even with an eight to $1,600 estimate, that guitar hammered for $2,000, got the respect it needed. It was a really, really nice guitar from a, uh, a collection of instruments we will be selling in the future with more instruments. So... Tune in to brunoandco.com. We've got some great auctions coming up. We have our summer auction we're planning right now. We're accepting consignments for that at this moment. We have toy auctions happening. July is our big military auction. So check out brunoandco.com, and we hope to see you there. That's B-R-U-N-E-A-U.